Hi, we're coming to you today. It's day three of the Printing United show. We're in the booth with Resupply uh, doing a workflow process for uh, printed ADA signs. So we're using the Mamaki JFX 200 to print sign blanks. Uh, this could well be printed on a solid sheet of material and later cut into individual blanks. But for today's workflow, we're pre-printing the four by six blanks. Okay, now that we have our uh, printed sign blank, we're going to come over to the IS-400 and apply the braille. So we'll uh, put our blank on the table, hit start. It's going to ask us to verify that our auto dispenser is up. Now we'll start drilling our holes. After the braille holes are drilled, it's going to come back and ask us to verify that we've lowered the dispenser. To insert the automated braille, we'll hit check mark, and now the braille is inserted into the pockets that were created in the first step of the process. This machine could easily have uh, also performed the tactile lettering or pictogram functions, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to move over to the LS900 and do the tactile lettering on the laser. Okay, so now that we have our digitally printed sign with uh, raster braille already applied. We're going to apply the tactile material. So this is Gravitac. Uh, it is an adhesive backed uh, UV stable material. We'll put our sign in the laser and go ahead and start the lasering process. Uh, after the laser goes through its safety checks, it will process this material. It takes about seven seconds. The benefit of the laser is that we aren't concerned with having uh, any chips or adhesive residue left on the sign. It cuts the tactile lettering very quickly, efficiently, um, and then we're ready to just weed that and we have our finished sign.